there was lots of unknowns coming into this event, but I guess there was a general consensus that the Kiwi team was perhaps a step ahead. To beat the locals today on the, on the first day of racing in the AC75, you know, how big a boost was that for the team? No, it's a huge boost for all of us. Um, it's a boost for our families, a boost for the guys in the shed. The design squad has a lot to look at, and we know that we have so much to learn still. Um, you could see on the water you know, the level of excitement that they have here in Auckland for the sport and for what we're doing this regatta. And um, you know, It's such a shame that we couldn't have those regattas in Europe this summer because of it. Um, but, man, you, you look around the racetrack, you look on the shoreline, everybody's so fired up about this on the first day of sailing and, and uh, to come away picking on the locals like we did, it's, uh, we're happy to do that. We're happy to keep the pressure on them and we know we got a lot of work to be done, so there's plenty of pressure on our shed too. Well, a bit of a, a mixed day for Team Luna Ross. So just give us a, a feeling really of, of what you've taken away from the day and, and how the team's feeling. I think uh, it's been a little bit of an up and down and uh, obviously with Team New Zealand uh, we didn't have our best race uh, but we are, uh, we are learning a lot and the, the important is to get the boat as fast as possible uh, day by day and uh, for sure tomorrow we're going to be faster than today. Uh, then uh, obviously a great uh, start against the English and uh, yeah, um, as I said, a little bit 50-50 kind of day. What will your, your takeaways be from today? When you all sit down together, what, what will be the big learnings? Well, I think uh, we have to really see every single mistake we did against Team New Zealand. Uh, we did a few. Uh, our maneuvers were not the best. Uh, our tactics was probably not the best. So we really have to check them all uh, and uh, try not to repeat the same mistake twice. I think if you achieve that, you are in good shape. I was out in the, on the water. I was privileged enough to be out there. It was quite a spectacle. Steering an AC75 on that race course here in Auckland. Just give us a feeling of what that's like. I was uh, very happy, very excited uh, the first day. And uh, obviously, I mean, uh, the second start uh, make my, made my day today against uh, Ben. Uh, we, we did a very good move there. And uh, to close the deal uh, uh, in such a short time is, uh, is, is, is very, uh, uh, makes me very happy. But I know that uh, obviously Ben today had uh, a lot of issues with his boat, so uh, I know that uh, was not uh, at his best uh, and was pretty far from his best. So I know he's going to come back and uh, hopefully uh, we no, n n n not uh, any team, um, we don't want any team to have uh, problems that uh, Ben had today. Well, Ben, a lot of British fans would have set the alarm clock this morning to watch the very first day of, of this cycle of the America's Cup. What, what do you want to say to them? Oh, I probably wouldn't have been that pleased with what they saw. Uh, you know, getting up early, setting the alarm clock, and unfortunately we were we were uh, way off the pace in terms of being able to control the boat. We had some major issues with the engineering and the software behind the foil can system, and so we were obviously late late for starts, and we couldn't manoeuvre the boat. Um, so yeah, it was a tough, it was a really tough day for the team. Um, we were hoping in the stronger winds, uh, you know, to have better performance and be shown in the lighter airs. I think there were signs of that, but at the same time, without really controlling the boat that well, we weren't, we weren't at the races, so frustrating day. These boats are, are the most technical ever in the, history, in the history of the America's Cup. I mean, there's going to be issues, particularly at these early stages. Yeah, that's right. And I, I think the point I was trying to make earlier is it's really important that all the teams work well together on, on supplied equipment like this. We saw it with the foil cant arms initially in the construction of those it, they were failing too early in terms of the, the design load and we managed to come together as a group of teams and work through that one unfortunately with the software that goes into this it's pretty specific to the teams and I think we need to do a better job of sharing that really if we're going to get to the bottom of this and have some resolution for a team that loses a race might lose a series through fall, no fault of their own I can sense you, you're pretty fired up about this. I mean, it's a, it's a massive issue. What's, what's the next step? Well, the, the teams have got to keep working together. I mean, yeah, it's a frustrating thing. But look, it's not the only problem we've got. I, I'd hate people to think that we're trying to use that to say, oh, well, if we can fit, sort that out, then we'll be winning all the races. We've got 
a lot of other things we've got to sort out. But I think, you know, for the good of the event, it may well be another team in the next round or in the cup. And that, that would be terrible, I think, if, you, if the America's Cup was decided through the foil count system. That would be crazy. Well, Pete, first of all, I mean, it was an incredible day, wasn't it, in on the water? We waited a long time to have that kind of racing here in Auckland. You know, what was that like on home, home waters with a, with a home crowd? Just describe how that felt to the team. Yeah, I think it's uh, you know a pretty special day. Um, you know, it's been something that to actually have that all come together has you know been a whole heap of hard work and planning for so many people. You know, not just within our our team, but you know in the, in the wider group. And you know, we've talked a lot about you know how cool this inner course would be. You know, it's amazing to see how many Kiwis got out there to watch it and just seemed like the whole course was surrounded by boats and you know, it's pretty incredible to you know think that's only the first day of it and you know we're just blown away by the support we're getting from New Zealand at the moment. There was a sense after your first race, perhaps, that you were unstoppable. In the last race, obviously, the American team beat you. What effect has that had in the team? And what did you think of that? Is that a bit of a wake-up call? Uh, no, I don't think there's any complacency, you know, here or, or waking up to be done. Um, you know, definitely for us as a team, we're very much, you know, focused on the America's Cup and, you know, being ready to, to perform come the 6th of March. And, you know, it's something for us. You know, we obviously you know, had a few issues in that last race, but for the team to get the boat ready to you know, actually be able to you know, have, have an opportunity to win, and you know, it's something that you know, we definitely didn't sell the best race either, but to you know, be able to get that opportunity at that last top mark, and you know, it's all about learning, really, and you know, we definitely didn't make the, I suppose, best use of the penalty we got, which was you know, a bit of a shame to let them, let them take it off us, but you know, it was an amazing effort for everyone to, to get that close. And just lastly, for you personally, steering that boat with the fastest boat on the planet here just off Auckland in front of everyone what what kind of moment was day one yeah I think it's just you know a sign of what's ahead in the, this summer you know all these boats are incredibly fast you know it seems like you know, everyone you talk to is starting to get more and more excited about the cup and you know I just was blown away by how many boats were out there today you know it's a Thursday and you know, to actually have that in a course working with a nice sou'wester and, you know, fully surrounded by boats is, you know, pretty incredible. And, you know, we're just excited about what the, the rest of the summer brings.